the coach, it was a little little longer perhaps than you, you, you hoped it would have been, but at the end, the Greenway come out on top. Talk about the way the game went today and how you guys were able to prevail. You know, I really thought our team played very hard today. I thought we played tough. I mean, we've really been challenging our team that – the, t the game's got to start from the defensive end out. And, and we really started uh, the game very well defensively, did some great things, um, and, and just were the aggressor in that first half. Uh, second half, lost that lead. They were being very aggressive. And then we, we kept fighting. So I, I think that was a very good game for us as far as how we responded to adversity. And uh, big free throw by Tierra at the end of the game to put that in overtime. And, and uh, we, we didn't look back. Just, I know you had a 20-point lead and wound up getting squandered at one point in the game. You're trailing by three or four points, I believe it was. Talk about the way your team kind of stuck together and hang their heads and just kind of kept pushing and to keep to keep fighting to stay in this game. I think that the biggest key to this game is that we uh, we handled the adversity that that we lost that lead and came back and that might be the best thing for us is to come back and and be able to take it over again and, and fight back in. Um, yeah, they they really did a great job coming up at half and really attacking us and and and, and whittled that lead down. So I was really glad our kids just played hard, stuck with it, executed, and and was ready to step up to that free throw line. I mean, they, we we were aggressive and got the free throw on and, and did a good job there. Very physical game, obviously a lot of fouls, a lot of free throws, like you said, and. They, and it, it uh, costs one of your players a little bit, of, a little bit of shallow bench. A lot of girls playing with four fouls. Right, that's tough to do. It's tough because we really had to change our defenses based on the fouls. I mean, we had uh, we had three players with four fouls at one time. One fouled out. Uh, Tiffany Dale was out for the game, and uh, we just don't go that deep in the post position. So, uh, you know, we really uh, did a nice job of rotating some other players. I mean, the nice thing is we have some big guards. You know, Daniel Blagg and Courtney Latham are big guards, and they were able to play and. Um, just, just a great team effort all the way around. I, I thought Odessa would play very well. Uh, I thought it was great to see Danielle Blagg feeling confident um, at first double-double of the year. So um, I'm really happy for both of them. Let's say for Danielle, first double-double of her career. First time she got 10-plus rebounds. I know we kind of joked with her before about not able to get past that number nine. What you like to see her crash the boards like that? And this yeah. to her scoring. She's such a good athlete, and she's a big guard and wing. I, she played with just such great intensity today. And um, I, I think our break has really helped us a little bit. We've been able to, to concentrate on some things and you could see our intensity level a little higher today so that was good to see of course you got to work overtime today got to come back tomorrow and play a, a solid st francis team talk about that match well um uh, my assistants have scouted them I, the, the one thing i know is um, they put up a lot of points and they give up a lot of points so it, it really could be a, a shootout but uh hopefully our defense can stand strong against a team like that i mean they really can score they're not going to that shot clock's going to run down about 10 seconds and they're going to shoot it so we're going to have to do really well um, you know, hopefully we can establish a little inside game um, that we didn't really establish today. So uh, it should be a good one. Hi, right, Coach. Thanks. Congratulations again. Thank you.